Hi, I'm CT 9904 and today in this video I'm going to be talking about saccadic masking. I'm hopefully pronouncing that right. It's where your eyes move from one place to another and miss out the chunk in between. Say for instance, look at the bike and then the item I'm holding. Now you're noticing it. Do you feel like your vision goes kind of blurry when looking in between the item and the player and vice versa? That's saccadic masking and our eyes do this to protect us from blurred images. This is probably quite a good thing when before we evolved and like when we we're like hunting and stuff to make sure we only looked at stuff and it's pretty good in our probably office day lives or modern day lives that we have now um, but overall yeah, when it comes to gaming it's not such an ideal thing as it will blur what we need to see or at least not exactly what we're looking at but everything in between from looking and not looking and it's not really ideal for gaming. You may now be thinking, how often does this happen? Well, these seconds lost can add up to a whopping 40 minutes a day. This isn't something that is hugely game changing, not in Mario Kart Wii. Maybe in games where you aim, like Valorant, or games where you are cons consistently moving your eyes around the screen, like League of Legends. But I'm a channel that's more focused on Mario Kart Wii content for now. So where does this come into play? Well, say for instance, you're looking up at your item you just got from an item box and the player who is in front of you shoots their green shell behind at you and you didn't see it because you were looking up at your item. Now, this is a bit of a grey area because it also falls a little bit into a peripheral vision and it's kind of, they go in hand in hand in this scenario and hand in hand kind of together, at least from what I personally believe. Okay, so I have been implementing this with, um, with this video where you keep your eye on the ball, uh, link in the description, and I can say that I have noticed a slight improvement in doing so. My eyes now move and flow better from place to place. If that's looking at the players behind me when racing, or just from my item to, the, to my own player, it, my eyes do feel a lot smoother and I can definitely feel a slight improvement. Also, on the other hand, Smooth Pursuit can help you stay on a target and track them. This might be pretty good for aiming games like Valorant, Overwatch or League of Legends where you track the player, but in a game where Mario Kart Wii there's not much tracking and projectile movement, but it is somewhat pretty good for say a green shell or something where you projectile throw a banana skin or a FB or something, I don't know, but it's not really necessary too much in Mario Kart Wii. But you can improve uh, Smooth Pursuit with a video that I showed you, which is once again in the description. All this will do will mean that you will be able to look around from your track to behind you at a player to at different objects much easier and much smoother. And that will make your gameplay a lot smoother and better to play. I would definitely say give it a go for a day and two and tell me how it went. I would really like to know if it helped you, if you guys found it helpful or not. And let me know if you guys found this video helpful overall and whether this video was useful to you guys to even learn anything. Thank you for watching and I shall hopefully see you in the next video.